January 4. Pray for forgiveness. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Matthew chapter 6 verse 12 King James Version And forgiveness is a disease that can be healed only through our Lord and Savior. Sometimes we allow unforgiveness to manifest itself through our entire being. It festers so rapidly, we often fail to recognize the symptoms. Symptoms may begin with depression or a headache. The symptoms will continue to progress the longer we hold on to unforgiveness. We may find ourselves unable to focus or we may experience loss of appetite, bleeding, ulcers, insomnia, hypertension, stroke, nervous breakdown, heart attacks, and a spiritual or physical death. Many who cling to unforgiveness will turn their backs on God and welcome eternal damnation. The Bible clearly states, And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that our Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Mark chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 New King James Version This means that if my probation closes and I haven't forgiven those that have hurt me, or if I haven't confessed or repented of my sins, I could be lost eternally. Yet God also promises that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, New King James Version Unforgiveness is a deadly poison that affects our social, physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual well-being. It is often said that a little of something taken in moderation will not hurt you. I strongly disagree. A little poison taken in moderation over a period of time can kill you. It is impossible to forgive on our own. We need God's help. He is the antidote for unforgiveness. Neither medication or treatment can hear or alleviate unforgiveness. God is the only one that is able to deliver us. Take your hurt to Him. Confess your sins to your Heavenly Father. Repent of them, for He is willing and able to deliver you. He is the greatest physician in the universe. Nothing is too difficult for Him. He will also ease our pain and make it easier for us to forgive those that have hurt us. Remember, once we forgive, we can be forgiven. Sin separates us from God. My prayer today is that nothing will come between our souls and our Savior. I pray that we will always spend eternity with him. Cora A. Walker